I am Kurt Kukine, uh, Vice President of Marketing at DDN, um, and I'll be giving a fairly brief overview on DDN for those of you who are maybe not familiar or maybe haven't caught up with us in the last couple of years. So DDN, the AI data company. Um, and what makes us make that statement, right? Um, where we've come from, where we've been, um, you know, DDN is, is not a fresh off the block um, company. We've been around for over 22 years um, dealing with scalable storage problems, right? And we come from a background in high performance computing, um, the universities, the national labs, um, and enterprises that had real huge data challenges, right? Enterprise oil and gas type workflows, life sciences research, um, drug discovery, things like that. Um, but what we've seen in the last couple of years is the emergence of right, AI into the, not only the pop popular collective culture um, mindset, but also within enterprises who wanna do a lot more with the data that they're acquiring, the data that they have, um, and be able to utilize that data to make informed decisions, to make rapid decisions, and really to create potentially new value out there. Um, and so we're taking our history, you know, the 11,000 customers that we have, um, and we're applying um, our know-how over the thousands of folks that we have around the world, um, and taking that experience that we've had of 22 years of developing systems um, for the most challenging storage environments, and now figuring out ways to simplify um, the AI workflows um, and allow people to get the most from their data. And so our core markets, right, I'm gonna go actually left to right and talk um, a little bit about um, VM store. So a couple of years ago, we acquired the company Tintree um, and we are leveraging them very heavily um, and they've been very successful in expanding their business on the pure enterprise side, right? These are virtualized workloads primarily. Um, VM store was built for pur purpose built for um, virtualized environments. Um, they're also getting um, into things like microservices, um, containerized workflows um, and things like that, but not touching on that too much um, today. Then there's a lot of intersection with our web and cloud customers, um, folks who are leveraging Tintry um, for um, different applications as a service. Um, and then we provide infrastructure um, for a lot of the large web organizations for just massively scalable workloads. Um, again, not what we're touching on today. Um, and then the enterprise at scale, government and academia, that's really our, again, our, our legacy in the high performance and advanced computing spaces. Um, and today we are going to concentrate on where we think the growth is in the market and especially the growth for DDN um, is this explosion of AI and analytics workloads um, across industries. And so, as I mentioned, we are a full data solutions company, um, a portfolio of products with, you know, dedicated storage for um, virtualized and containerized environments. Um, we also acquired a few years ago uh, from Western Digital, the IntelliFlash platform, um, which is incorporated now into our, what we call our at scale division. And that's the division that's working on things like AI and large computing problems. Um, mainly because, right, what we're seeing is the requirement for, um, basically every type of ser data service within the AI workflow. So you need that high performance parallel file system that DDN is known for, um, but you also need you know, your VMs, uh, your containers, um, your block storage, your standard NFS served as well. You need deduplication and replication for long-term storage of data assets. Um, and so we are able to integrate all of that as well with a single data management layer um, that we call 
data flow. Um, and James and William will touch on those in a little bit. Um, but right, what, what the entire data environment looks like today is it's requiring right, a vendor who can address your needs of the data wherever it is, get it to wherever it needs to be, and have it be there safely, securely, and shared, right? So um, whereas vendors like DDN probably historically were very focused on the data center, right? We're seeing more and more of our customers and helping more of our customers make that journey to a hybrid scenario where they've got some um, of their data in the data center. Often they're really high performance um, data because that's the data that needs to be analyzed quickly, lowest latency, highest performance. Um, and then POCs, longer term storage, um, other types of data sitting in the cloud. Um, yes. A high performance parallel file system. You mentioned Tentry, virtual machine store. What's your cloud store, uh, cloud storage solution that's in between those two? Um, so this is more an intersection of those two oh, okay. rather than in between those two, I see. right? I so see. each of them is connected to public cloud storage in its own way, right? And so neither is only in the local data center. And you mentioned earlier that you provide um, infrastructure to hyperscalers and things of that nature. Beside, is that besides the Tintry solution? Does that include your high that, performance file system? That does, especially for those who are looking to do things like natural language processing um, and, or um, you know, provide a platform for um, you know, some of the more um, performance hungry business applications. Um, so we've been very successful um, with our cloud partners with things like um, SAS grid in the cloud. Mm -hmm. And so they're looking still at certain applications that they have that need purpose-built solutions. Okay. And so, as I said, right, we've, we're seeing this intersection of what DDN has always done very, very well um, and what enterprises are now looking to do with their data. Right, and it's essentially turning their data. You know, they were very focused for so long on well, we got to keep the business running smoothly, right? And the DDN at scale portion isn't necessarily very interested in that. That's that's a little data challenge, right? That's block storage, doing fast transactions. That's NAS shares. You know, providing out PowerPoints to people. That's not what. Right. DDN focuses on. DDN focuses on really the data that is people's business, right? The data that they're looking to exploit to create value or make faster decisions um, and do so in a way that uh, empowers the business to move forward quickly. Um, and so what we see is enterprises needing to address a level of storage that they haven't required before. Right, that these are petabyte type challenges, not gigabyte and terabyte type challenges. And so they need an entirely new architecture to not one, be able to store this information and then two, to be able to process it quickly um, with all of the new um, accelerators that are out there, right? NVIDIA leading the way with a lot of their GPU systems in the AI space. Um, but we're seeing so much more demand emerging um, for the other players in that space and folks like Cerebrus, who we have here today, um, bringing in alternative approaches to accelerating that AI computing piece. Um, and those folks need a partner who's there to be able to make sure the IO is there and make sure they can address that scalable storage system. And finally, make sure that it's consumable for enterprise customers. Right? These are a new class of customers um, who are looking at a workload that's new for them, um, and they need to have this made easy, or at least as easy as possible. And that's why approaching it from the approach that DDN takes, right? Number one, we've proven it over 22 years that we can manage these scales 
right, of challenge and these types of data challenges out there. Um, and what our system allows you to do is because of the simple scalability, right, you can centralize that AI data that gives you span of control. Um, and so governance and data management becomes simpler. Um, we can provide the performance that's unmatched out there. Simple, scalable performance with building blocks um, that are very efficient. And then finally, um, making sure that all that data is managed in a way over time that makes it as easy as possible. And so essentially, right, we provide a entire end to end solution for the workloads that folks are needing um, to address their AI applications. So right in this image here, we've got basically a rack level solution, um, the exascaler parallel file system, which we'll also talk about as A3i, and we can identify some of the subtle differences there. Um, Exascaler is the parallel file system that we use underneath all of the at scale storage solutions at DDN. A3i is packaging um, to make it easier for enterprise customers to consume. Um, then IntelliFlash um, is again, unified enterprise storage. So it delivers block services and file services simultaneously out of the same system. Um, and that's, Fantastic, right? For your kind of standard enterprise storage needs within the AI workflow. They're still there. Um, they need standard NFS access. They need to be able to manage VMs and containers in a simple way. Um, then we tie that all together with our data flow product, data management, comprehensive data management. So that does um, archive, that does backup recovery, that does migration, um, that does replication. And then for long-term storage, right, we have bumped up the capabilities of IntelliFlash to match the requirements that we're seeing with our AI customers, which is a really scalable storage space that allows for deduplication um, and things like that for long-term archives. So Kurt, it looks like those are DGX NVIDIA solutions sitting there. Are you guys a, a, a preferred or uh, appropriate supplier? I mean, you're qualified for so we are not a reseller of NVIDIA. I know. But we are a fully qualified um, partner. So we'll get into that um, a little bit. We have reference architectures um, for both the SuperPod as well as the pod systems. And in both of those cases, the it's both an exascaler as well as an IntelliFlash solution that gets connected? So um, not in all cases, um, but yes, it, they are part of the reference architectures. Um, and so um, that is an available step. Of course, some customers may come in and start on the parallel file system side. Other customers actually might come in through the door from the standard enterprise um, storage side and then implement the um, parallel file system later. So we have both use cases um, at customers. And you've got the IntelliFlash solution for directories and container storage, but you also have it for archives. So you've got different media to focus on? So yeah, so um, it can be deployed either as all flash um, or in a hybrid system. Oh, okay. Um, and that's, again, something that we did um, in the last couple of years, which is bring them into the fold and onto our hardware systems, right? So you've got 90 bay drive trays there, you know, things that DDN has often done leading the edge in terms of density um, as well as performance um, to be able to increase the capabilities of the Intel. And the, and the data flow solution is the software, or software and is hardware? Just software. Yeah, it is just software that we apply, we, we supply the appliances as well. Okay. And it's not just about right appliances or technology. Um, it's also about experience, right? And again, we refer back to, you know, we're not new to this game of scalable storage requirements, um, right? We've been around for 22 years. Um, we've got a deep 
bench of experts who've been dealing with these challenges and are able to come in and help people, not just with the storage, right? The storage is an important fundamental piece. It's of course what we supply, um, but our expertise extends through the network and all the way to the compute system. And you'll get that when we talk about insight, right? The, um, the, the visibility that we offer with that software, um, but it also extends all the way to, you know, our consultants who are helping folks implement, optimize applications, optimize IO, um, delivering it all the way through the network, not just focused on the storage box itself. And that's how we work with companies to consistently achieve really good feedback, really good reviews in terms of how we deal with these scalable storage problems. Um, and this was a Intersex 360 report from about 16 months ago or so, um, right? Where consistently across the board for all metrics um, from HPC users, EDN was rated number one. And, and that would be your exascalar solution? And that would be primarily the exascalar solution. Versus something like IBM's usual solution in that space or? Correct, ESS. Um, or um, you know the other solutions. Doesn't matter. 